Hi, my friends. Welcome to class. My name is Angie. Um, today, we're going to be doing things a little bit differently. I'm actually going to be doing a pitta pacifying flow um, or more grounding sequence. So if you are familiar with Ayurveda and the doshas, um, pitta is governed by the element of fire and water. And when pitta is out of balance, there could be anger, irritability, and frustration. So in order to counter these emotions, we bring in the opposite elements to pacify. So we're not going to bring in more fire because fire increases fire. So if we're already angry, we're going to be more angry. <laughs> so we're going to bring in the opposite. We're going to bring in air. So we're going to be breathing. We'll do some pranayams and... Um, earth element. So really grounded, slow moving, gentle movements. Um, with that being said, let's start in child or let's start sitting up. So find a, finding a comfortable seat coming onto your sits bones or a block. Feel free to grab a bolster as well for your practice. Um, if you haven't if you don't have any props and you need to go grab some, feel free to press pause and go grab them. Um, and then we'll just find a comfortable seat whenever you're ready. Go ahead and close down the eyes or soften your gaze. So if closing the eyes is uncomfortable, you can just look down over the tip of the nose. We're just coming into our breath here. So we'll spend just a few moments noticing, just observing. Becoming aware of the emotions that you're feeling, where you're feeling them in, in your body. Maybe how it's shifting your physiology. You know, a lot of times anger and frustration, irritability, these emotions can increase the heart rate, increase blood pressure. And it also, um, they also release hormones that um, trigger fight or flight response. So this is why we breathe and we tune in to slow down and ground. So we'll do Samavritti. Samavritti is our equal part breath. This is a balancing breath. So breathing in really gently, not forcing it for the count of four, three, two, one. Exhaling nice and smooth for four, three, two, one. Continue for a few rounds. Inhaling for four, slow, not rushed. Exhaling for four, letting the body soften on the exhales. In for four. Exhale for four, maybe out the mouth. Inhale four. Exhale four. option to take a pan mudra so thumb middle finger and ring finger touch pointer finger and pinky finger extend long a pan mudra is really good for grounding brings in the element of earth and water helps detox the body and calm the mind continue with samavritti Slow breaths in, slow breaths out. I think it's fair to say that we all experience anger a lot of things to be angry about injustices in the world frustration 
unnecessary pain, and just pain in general. A lot of times fear, although it's a primary emotion, can be a secondary emotion and deeply rooted underneath fear can be, or not fear, anger can be fear. Sadness, hurt, some of these other painful emotions that maybe we haven't been taught how to process. So it comes out in the form of anger. Still breathing, focusing on the breath. Maybe you extend the breath for more than four. Maybe you breathe for five or six. And out for five or six. And release the mudras. And take our left ear to the left shoulder. Up through center. And then exhale the right ear to the right shoulder. Let's do that a few more times. Inhale center. Left ear to left shoulder. Center. Right ear to right shoulder. Going with the breath, staying really intentional and attached to the breath. Inhale four. Exhale, four, allowing the movements to be as slow as the breath. Inhale through center. Exhale, chin to chest. Take a big breath in here. Breathe into the back body, the space behind the heart. Head comes up through center. Exhale, up mouth. few circles. Go slow. Switch directions. Good. Sit up nice and tall. Inhale, reach the arms up high. Exhale, left hand to the mat, right arm reaches over. Pratapana. Inhale, breathe in, open the chest. Stay for an exhale. Inhale through center, reach high. Exhale, opposite side. Inhale to open the chest. Stay for the exhale. Inhale through center. Exhale, twist left, right hand to the left thigh. Inhale to sit tall. Exhale to twist. Breath in, sit tall. Exhale, twist. Inhale through center. Twist opposite side. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale to twist. Again, breath in, grow tall. Exhale, twist. Inhale through center. Exhale, seated cat round the spine. Hands to the tops of the knees or the shins. And then just kind of rock side to side here. Maybe you reach the feet out forward a bit more if you're feeling a little out of balance. 
just like massage the organs here as they press against the back body. And then inhale, pull the heart forward, seated cow. Maybe you stay for an extra round of breath here. Notice what's happening in the heart. Keep pulling the shoulders away, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Exhale to round, cat. Inhale forward. Exhale to round. Keep going, inhale. Exhale. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Good, this time inhale into a tabletop position. Stack the shoulders over the wrists, the knees under the hips. A few more cat cows here. Drop the belly, lift the chest, gaze forward. Exhale, press the ground away. Tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin. A couple more. Hmm, good. From here, we'll come to child's pose. Toes together, knees wide. Set the hips back. If you have any props that you want to incorporate, feel free to bring those in now. I'm gonna take um, my blocks underneath my bolster. I'm gonna create a little ramp. I like to um, create a spot for my hands to hug. Hugs are really nice on the nervous system. Very supportive. Keep those knees wide, reach the arms forward. And let your head come down to the mat or to the bolster. I'm trying to make sure not to lay on my mic here. We'll be here for a few minutes, so find a comfortable spot. If this means a blanket under the knees, feel free to bring that in. And again, this pitta pacifying practice to help calm anger and irritability and frustration. We need to breathe and we need to ground. So feel your connection points on the earth. Feel the forearms connected to the mats, the mat, and the shins connected to the mat. Feel your face and your chest. Feel the weight of your body pulling down towards the earth. Follow your breath. Let it be gentle, let it be smooth. And let whatever comes up Come up just enough, right? We can control how much we allow ourselves to feel. So you can allow in a little bit. And when it becomes too much, maybe you anchor into your breath. So it's called titrating. It helps us um, expand our window of tolerance. The bigger the window of tolerance, our ability to process emotions becomes easier. We become more resilient. Maybe easier is not the word, but maybe more um, accessible, reachable. Maybe your nervous system begins to downregulate. Maybe some tears come or some yawning. Just noticing any shifts in our physiology.
any type of lengthening or folding it's really good for the liver twisting is also great for the liver And this is where anger is stored. Feel free to switch your gaze, switching cheeks here. Just evening out the neck. Noticing any smells around you. The smell of the air. Maybe there's incense burning or a candle. Maybe you're outside like me and you can smell the grass or the fresh air. A sense of smell is directly connected to the earth element governs the root chakra. This is our place of security, safety, groundedness. A few more breaths. When you're ready, nice and slowly, you can begin to lift up. Move the props to the side. And then we're going to extend the legs out in front of us, sitting up nice and tall. Option to sit on a blanket here. So we'll just create a longer spine. We'll just move through our feet for a few moments. Sometimes child's pose can, you know, be a lot on the feet. So some circles here. Good. And then again, props if you would like them. If not, you can do no props as well. I'm going to create another little ramp for myself. We're going to move into a seated forward fold. So I like to sit up nice and tall and then I kind of extend my like sits bones behind me. You can see this motion that I'm doing and it helps to lengthen the spine. Now I have a very long spine, so it's going to round and that's okay if it does, as long as you still feel this stretch through the entire posterior chain of the body, the whole back side of the body. So you can begin to fold. You'll start feeling it in the legs first. As I fold, I continue to send my sits bones back, pull my heart forward, and then try to get my low belly down first, and then my chest and my head. Again, another posture that's really great for aiding in liver detoxation, detoxification. And our liver is responsible for um, eliminating hormones that are released into our body. So, you know, this is helping to eliminate some stress hormones. 
Just helping the liver function properly. Keeping the breath nice and gentle, not forced. Feeling free to let out any sighs or sounds. Allow yourself to express here. It's the great part about practicing in your own home. <laughs> you can allow yourself to be as weird as you need to be. When I say weird, as a really good thing. <laughs> Allowing yourself to fully express, to release. Sometimes we can build frustration or resentment or anger due to a lack of expression, to a lack of using our voice, not standing up for our own needs this self-abandonment. So allow yourself, give yourself permission to speak, to make a sound. Mm. Nice and slow, we'll begin to lift back up. Take the hands behind you and maybe you shake out the legs here a bit. And then from here, we're just gonna move into a reverse tabletop. So bend the knees, fingers face towards the hips. Kind of roll the shoulders back and down, expose the heart forward first, and then begin to tuck the tailbone first to rise. Hips lift. Now we're opening the front body, the interior chain, kind of countering all of the posterior, the folds. Big breath in. Stay for the breath out. One more breath in, lift the hips, squeeze the glutes, press the heart up, strong through the neck. Exhale, hips come down to the mat. Good. Go ahead and send the legs long just to remove the props, set them to the side. We're going to come into a Supta Baddha Konasana reclined bound angle. So you're welcome to take this fully flat on your back. I'm going to use the bolster, um, sort of like a supported fish, but with Supta Baddha Konasana, bound angles, Baddha Konasana in the legs. So if you are using a bolster, pull it all the way up to the tailbone and then lean back. Let the arms fall open. I like this variation because I get a little bit of a heart opener here. And like I mentioned earlier, a lot of times anger and frustration stems from an underlying emotion. Maybe it's hurt or sadness or grief just coming out as anger. That's why it's important to slow down and examine where in our body, what we're feeling, really getting to the root of the emotion. The more we can understand it, the better we can move through it. If this is a lot for you on the hips, you're welcome to take 
your blocks and just place them right underneath the knees here. A little support here, a little more of that earth element. A little more grounding. Option to take the hands to the body. Sense of touch is connected to the heart. Helps us feel supported, cared for, loved. It's almost a sign of compassion, right? Someone's going through something, you give them a hug, or maybe even just placing your hand on their shoulder. Just lets you know that you're there for them and you support them can do these things to ourselves. We can support ourselves in the same way. It's almost like I hear you. I hear you, I'm with you. And you're not alone. Maybe that affirmation feels really good. And while you're here, that is something that you can repeat to yourself. And I with, I'm with you, I hear you, you're not alone. I'm with you, I hear you, you're not alone. I'm with you, I hear you, you are not alone. Breathe into it. I'm with you. I hear you. You are not alone. Begin to envision a white light, maybe at the third eye. With every breath, can you grow this light a little larger? Watching it expand and fill the entire body with this glowing bright white light. until your whole body is engulfed in this light. Cooling color, color of protection. When you're ready, begin to pull the knees in through center. Plant the feet firmly on the ground. Feel the connection to the earth. And then begin to lift up. Set the props to the side. 
pull the knees into the chest, give yourself a big hug. Maybe you rock side to side here. Rocks are a, another thing that the nervous system loves, very soothing. Happy baby. Grab the outer edges of the feet. Pull the knees down towards the mat. And then feel the entire back body press against the mat. Sort of massaging the organs on the mat. Hmm. You know, a lot of times we move through these asanas blindly and that's okay we don't need to know every detail of what every posture is doing right because the body knows the body holds the wisdom and if you're like me <laughs> a little neurotic sometimes it's nice to understand what we're doing and why we're doing it the benefits it has the power that each posture holds the effects the physiological responses it has on our body Go ahead and release, pull the knees into the chest. Massage the low back. So the tops of the glutes. Just rocking side to side here. Good. Take your arms out to a T, keep your legs where they're at and let the knees fall over to the left for a supine twist, gaze to the right. Nice supine twist here. Again, great for liver detoxification. Take a breath into the right side body here. Feel the ribs expand. Let the exhales ring out the spine, sort of like a towel ringing out water. Fill up. Release. One more big breath in, fill all the way up. Let it go. Inhale through center. Let the legs fall to the opposite side. Breath in to the left side body, feel the ribs expand. Let the exhales ring out the spine. Breath in. Let it go. One more breath in. Exhale it out. So we massage the liver here with our breaths. We twist, it creates this compression on the spine. And when you unwind, let the legs come back through center. This untwisting of the organs creates a cooling sensation. Send the legs long, arms down by the sides. And this cooling, great for pit to balancing. Big breath in. Exhale out the mouth. One more breath in. Long breath out, let the body soften, let the body be heavy. Shavasana. I'll call you back out in a few minutes and we'll finish the practice with a mantra.
Begin to notice your breath. Feel the chest rise and fall, the belly rise and fall. Begin to invite in some gentle movements, look, flickering, the body awake. Maybe taking a big stretch, reaching the arms up overhead, reaching through the feet. When you're ready, begin to press yourself up into a comfortable seat. Maybe you roll over to one side first and then press yourself up. Either way, we're meeting in it with a tall spine. Close down the eyes or soften the gaze here. I'll offer a mantra. You're welcome to either repeat it silently in your head or say it out loud. I encourage you to use the vibration of your voice. Use the voice. Activating the throat here. This mantra is a mantra to all beings. It's loka, samasta, suki no, bhavantu. If you know this mantra, you can re repeat it with me and maybe listen for a few, few rounds, but it means may all beings be free. May all beings be free from suffering. May all beings be free and happy. Take a full breath in. Breath out the mouth. Breath in. Loka samasta sukino bhavantu. Loka samasta sukino bhavantu. Loka samasta. Suki no bhavantu. Two more times. Loka samasta. Suki no bhavantu. Loka samasta. Suki no bhavantu. Breath in for Om. Om. Again, breath in. Om. Last one, inhale. Pull the hands into heart center, Anjali Mudra. Inhale the thumbs to the third eye. And we'll bow to each other to seal the practice, showing gratitude to each other and all beings. Thank you, my friends. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing your practice. Um, these are tools that you can take with you, that you can do on your own. Um, we just remember that if we're angry, if we're irritable, it's not always the best choice to go be more angry. <laughs> you know, so maybe sometimes what we need is to calm, to use our breath, to use um, the earth, to ground really calm the nervous system. We bring in the opposite 
of what the what the underlying or the, the main fear, anger, irritability is, we call them. So yeah, thanks for being here. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.